Honey, why are you wearing that towel around yourself? <laughs> I don't have a bra. <laughs> oh, what you doing? I'm cooking dinner. How about you? What are you doing? I'm getting ready to shoot a video on the nuclear reactor that is our carport. I'm gonna ask people, I'm gonna ask the peeps. This is not just an ordinary curry. <laughs> no? No. What makes this curry special? Because it has vegetables and I cook it from my heart. Ah, so it's got extra lerve in it. Yes, extra lerve. <laughs> extra lerve. And we still gotta put in the squash, the eggplant, egg and the hot peppers. Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna go. And our crazy dog. And our crazy Bridget, who's looking whiter than usual. She's looking more Caucasian or European American, shall we say, since we gave her a bath. Or, I didn't give her a bath. She changed So, yeah, it was my heat gun. All right, let's do this. Their son, son, Mr. Golden Sun. All right, this is gonna be one of those situations where I'm trying to crowdsource some advice on a situation, a sort of dilemma that we have here at Orange House. And that dilemma is the sun hitting this concrete, heating it up, like superheating it. Uh, let's take a look. Today's not bad. Today it's only 123.9 degrees Fahrenheit. Yesterday it was 132. We're getting less sun today because we got some cloud cover actually. So what happens is this heats up, you know, to about 125, 130 degrees, and the heat wafts in to the house. That's Janice's room over there. This is my office right here. As you can see, I have my Boston Bay from Dorchester, DC inverter going because it's hot today. It's summertime in the Philippines. We got the sun hitting this concrete. And even though we got good shade, we got the overhangs here. And you know, we got the trees here. This blocks some of the, this mango tree. You can see all the mangoes up there. There's a lot of mangoes. Uh, and there's a tree over here. There's no tree over here. So this heats up, it gets really hot. 123 degrees over here. And what I was thinking about doing was as you can see over there, I got like a tarp thing. I don't know what you'd call it. A sunshade. And this thing blocks about 80% of the heat. So it was 123 over here. Let's see what it is in the shade here. It's about 96, which ain't too bad. So this is blocking a lot of the heat. The car cover is 95. And the actual sunshade is about 100 degrees. So what I was thinking about doing, long story short, too late, to get some of that black netting that they sell at all the home goods stores, it's like a black netting. But the thing is, I only think it cuts around 40%. They use it a lot of times, like you can see the plants over here on this side of the house are also dying because they're getting too much sun. And they use that black netting when they're growing stuff to cut down on the UV radiation, the heat on the plants, all that stuff to give them some chance of life. So I was thinking about putting some eye rings at the top Underneath the roof they're putting some eye rings. One, two, three, four. Because the sheets of the plastic shade netting are about eight feet wide. So that would give 16 feet and there'd be a little space in the middle to let some light in. And run it out to about here. It's about 75 pesos per meter, which ain't bad. So it's fairly cheap. So run it out to about here to cover some of this concrete so it's not heating up to 130 degrees and drifting into the house. Uh, the, the roof also you know, gets up to about 130 degrees, but let's go up to the terrace right now and check that out. So if anybody has any experience with ways of shading things so it doesn't get so hot, please let me know down in the comment section because I don't know if I should you know, try using that black netting that only looks like it, again, filters out about 40%. The space between the weaves is pretty big. Um, 
This is the second floor terrace. This is a nice area to set. You can't he you can't feel the breeze, but there is a really nice breeze. As soon as you get to the second floor above in the Philippines, there's a nice breeze. But when you're down on the first floor, or if you have a single story house, a lot of times the walls around the house are blocking that breeze, but you can feel it up here. But with this roof over, the, basically the roof over our bedroom, this area, the, the bedroom's nice and cool all the time. So when you're looking for a house, or if you're considering building a house, this is probably the way to do it. You basically have a double roof. And that's shading, the top roof is shading the concrete roof. And you get the breeze, if there's any you know, heat accumulation coming down from the top roof, you get the breeze coming through and dissipating it. We actually, when we moved in, the house was hot, because again, the roof gets 120, 130 degrees. The roof gets very hot. And all that radiates down into the house. So what we did was we installed 10, 10 millimeter polystyrene insulation with a single side radiant barrier, because that's all you need. For some reason, they sell double sided. I don't know why they do that, because all you need is one side with a radiant barrier. We laid it on top of our ceiling, all along the top of the ceiling. Buying the materials was cheap for this, you know, for this good sized house. It was about $60. And we just dragged it up there. We laid it out flat on top of the ceiling with the radiant barrier aiming up towards the roof. And it cut down the heat by about five degrees Fahrenheit. We'll go inside in a little bit and check that out. All right, so let's check out the temperature differential with the 10 mm polystyrene 86.5 where it's insulated and 91.7 where it's not insulated. Yeah. And somebody just barged in. <laughs> so that's a big that's a big difference. Four to five degree difference. What do you say, Zoe? You're gonna grab it? You're gonna grab it? So you got food all over your face. You got crackers. You got crackers on your face. <gasps> crackers. <laughs> so if you're in the Philippines and your house gets a lot of heat and you're renting and you're gonna stay there for a while, that's probably a good investment to make. 60 bucks, do your whole house, cuts down the temperature about five degrees. But I seem to be digressing, yeah. So if anybody has any experience, with some way to shade this concrete. Please let me know. We're also going to put it over here. This is the back of the house. And you know, people come out here and wash their clothes and stuff, do some work out here. And you got the sun blasting right down on here. So I'm also gonna run some shade, probably from those two pillars. Put some eye bolts right into the wall here, drill them in and run some sort of shade right here too. As a matter of fact, it gets so hot, we have to keep this back door closed because the heat just rolls right in here. 116, 115, not too bad. Like I said, today's not bad, yesterday was really bad. And the thing about this is, is once it heats up, it holds the heat and radiates it all night. And if you're living in a cold climate and you got a house made of stone, you know, the house heats up, made of brick, the house heats up, it's good because it helps radiate and keep your heating costs down. In the Philippines, it's just the opposite. It just makes your life much more miserable. So are you ready to go? Zoom, zoom. And Chichai mentioned that a friend of hers is interested in securing herself a foreigner and is gonna join Date in Asia. The notorious dating, <coughs> quote unquote, dating site <laughs> to find herself a foreigner. And why does she want to find a foreigner? I don't know, she's because she's single and she don't trust Filipino. <laughs> ah, <laughs> so she's single and ready to mingle <laughs> and don't want to get down with the Pinoy. She's pretty. Yeah, she's pretty. She's Slim, she's sexy. Uh huh. Maybe she got two kids. Yeah, but she got two kids. Oh, okay. So you got instant family. <laughs> so if anybody's older but the kids and they don't have that much lead in their pencil anymore, you can have an instant family. If all of the rain drops were lemon drops and gum drops, oh, what a rain that would be.
Standing outside with my mouth open wide. Ah, 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 Hey, if you consider our work to be of any value, consider supporting us on Patreon. If you're a Patreon, you get a free copy of my ebook, and we do monthly Google Hangouts. So consider doing that, if you would please.